I'm here at Goodwill. I was gonna make a video about Dillard's, but I'll do that another day or another video. So I'm at this Goodwill and let's check it out. Personally, don't have the patience to look through all this, but I'll try. Bring gloves. I don't have gloves with me, but I wish I did. But see, like you'll find stuff. Like this is actually pretty cute. Ten dollars. Let's see how much Goodwill is selling for. Four or five dollars. See, that's not bad. I mean, that's a cute top. So let's look around. I'm hoping we score something cute, bro. Something cute. Let's go to the S and extra smalls. They also have purses. Sometimes you score good stuff, but you gotta come early. And I'm not really early, but this this one's cute actually. This is cute. Not bad. All right, I'm gonna look, and if I see anything cute, I'll show y'all. So for example, this top is actually pretty cute. It's not bad. I like it. This is also cute. This top is a S. Six dollars. I mean, this was my style. I would get it. It's really not because I don't like the sleeves. But besides that, it's really, really cute. I have no clue if this is like a costume or what. But this is so cute. I was going to say they come together, but they don't. I don't love the shorts, but maybe it was a costume. I don't know. But the top is so cute. I have to try it on and show y'all like on top of my clothes. This was a unworn two-piece set. The only downside is they were also sold separately. Y'all, I think I'm gonna get this bag. I just saw it, and I know it's not in the best shape, but I really don't care, because guess that price? $6. I've been wanting a bag like this. Not even Sheen has these bags for 10 anymore, or five, I mean. I mean, it's in pretty good condition. Even on the inside, it looks pretty good. I know y'all can't tell, but. I think I'm gonna take you home with me. And I saw a Christmas sweater. Oh, somebody's grandma. This is so cute. And they also have scrubs. So if you're looking for scrubs for an affordable price, they got them here. Literally $3 the tops and the bottoms the same $3. So no excuses and you don't need figs. Look at all the games they have, y'all. All these games, no excuse. They even have baby diapers I saw, baby toys. Oh, they got skates. I think I gave away my skates too, but. Oh, look, this is what you put on the wall. And do like push-ups. They even have this, so even for workout, you got no excuses. Okay, these are actually super cute. They're my size, $7, but I don't know. I don't really need more shoes, but this, this is so cute. Okay, so I'm trying this out, and it's a no. I know y'all think it may look cute, but it's not cute, I promise. It's from Fashion Nova. I think this is a costume but I'm still gonna get it. It is so cute. I think this is like a sexy sailor or maybe a, I don't know, airplane lady or something. I don't know, but they're both sold separately, which is mm, a little annoying. Look at all the DVDs they have. I'm trying to still find hot to y'all. I never have got it, but if somebody wants to give it for me for December, Christmas is my favorite movie, Hachi. The dog movie, very sad, but I love it. But if I find it here, oh, Marley and me, that's that's a good movie. It's kind of like Marley. Oh, what is this one? Oh, the game plan. Now this is a classic. Oh my God, classic. I love how that's two ninety nine, and this is one. <laughs> uh, Disney DVD blockbuster. Oh my God, blockbuster. That's funny. I got Seinfeld. My mom loves Seinfeld. She has all the movies. Hairspray. You know, I've never seen Hairspray. I think I tried to watch it with my friend, but never did. Oh, they got CDs. Who doesn't love a good... <gasps> High School Musical 3. <laughs> Alright, so now we are at Ross. And I wanted to show you guys all of the affordable costumes that they have. Because even TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Their costumes are so expensive, and honestly, for the prices, Ross, you can never beat them. Yes, everything has gone up, but Ross has got you with the costumes this year. And there's also some Halloween stuff out that I wanted to show you all, and you know I'm going to stop at the pet section. They had two Hello Kitty beds that I've seen on my Facebook Marketplace for a lot of money. These candle holders are dupes for Bath & Body Works. Now I'm at Pop Shelf. They got the Christmas stuff out and the Halloween over there. So let's check it out. Pop Show actually surprised me this year with the Christmas stuff and the prices. Everything else is so expensive, this inflation. Pop Shelf has got us, it's still semi affordable and the stuff is super cute and unique on top of that. Things I have not seen in other stores. Oh, hello. 
Papa. So sweet like a lemonade Take time, we can give it a mini mate We can do something new, let me innovate We can take it slow like we in a rain So sweet like a lemonade Took time, we can give it a mini mate We can do something new, let me innovate Take it slow like we in a rain Thought I could run away I could run away Your smile made me wanna stay Make me wanna stay Come with me, we can make a way We can make a way Give me time, let me demonstrate Let me demonstrate Want you over, want you closer Let me love you like I'm supposed to Any struggle, make it over Just remember what I told you So sweet like a lemonade Took time, we can give the mini made We can do something new, let me innovate We can take it so like we in a rain so sweet like a lemonade We can do something new, let me innovate Took time making you no mini me Take it slow like we in the rain Have you guys started going over what you want this year for Christmas? I don't know Looks like this year Everything's a little on a budget. Not a people. Not a lot of people are gonna get gifts, and I don't know. It's just tight. I haven't even thought about what to get people for Christmas, and much less buy new ornaments and anything Christmas related. Because guys, oh my God, have you been to TJ Maxx or Home Goods? It's so expensive. Let's say a four foot tree, fifty dollars. For what? Why is it fifty dollars? I need a new store that's more affordable than TJ Maxx because TJ Maxx and Home Goods are not affordable anymore. Now we've made our way to Five Below, and I did want to mention that this video was filmed around September. I just, mm, guys, I like motivation. I just have not been motivated to post because I get stuck on the numbers. Not a lot of views. I don't know. It just it just it just puts me in a mood so in my head nobody really cares but hey 100 is better than zero that's what i have to tell myself and maybe one day we'll grow but for now just be happy we're here saw so many cute hello kitty and other things all right you guys i figured since i'm doing this why not show you how to make it i am making some brownies i made these a couple times and i do tweak the recipe a little bit i don't do exactly what it says on the back it's really not too tweaked so got the two eggs like it tells you to instead of two tablespoons of water i do two tablespoons of milk make sure you don't confuse it for the teaspoon so add your two tablespoons and this is cold milk one, two. And I also went ahead and prepped the pan that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use this one. It's a circular and I also sprayed some Pam on it because I always forget last minute, so I always like to do it first. It says half a cup of vegetable oil. Instead of the vegetable oil, I add some butter, but I also add the vegetable oil, so really not instead. I add a little, just like a little bit, but I add a lot of butter. So I am gonna melt this country crock butter in the microwave for like 10, 15 seconds. And while we're preparing these ingredients, go ahead and start up uh, the oven. Preheat it, pre it to 350, that way it's ready to go once you're ready to go. So bam, I'm gonna put this butter in there, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of vegetable oil. Then I'm going to mix that in before I add the cake mix or the brownie mix. I mean, use your wrist, guys. Use your wrist. Okay, then once all that's good and blended, then you can add your mix that you've got in the box. Let's go ahead and pour that, all that good stuff in there. Now, different mixes come with different things. I know some of them have chocolate chip cookies, but none of them ever have chocolate, I don't think. So I always like to add my own things to it, you know? All right, then I'm gonna mix that in until it's all dark brown and it's all, I don't wanna say sticky, but you know, you'll see. I like to get a clear pot, a clear container, that way I can see, cause sometimes they'll be unblended, unmixed brownie mix and you can't see it when you use another container, but when you use a clear one, you can see everything that's going on. And these are the Nestle Nestle 
white. So you can either put the chips in the mix and then mix it around, or you can put them on top whenever you're ready to put it up. So I'll put some on top. I like to put a lot, so don't judge me. Okay, and this is what it looks like. Boom, boom, boom. And yes, it'll be fine in the oven. I've done this several times, so. Ooh, look at that. Ooh. So good. I do like to do the longest time because I always find me having to add more time to it because it's never fully cooked. So I'm going to do 48 to 51 minutes.